So I've done many other crafts. I've done cross stitching and crochet and knitting and a little bit of woodworking, perler beads, a few other things. But one thing I've never tried is a diamond painting. So I was contacted back uh, last month about doing a sort of unboxing review of a diamond painting from Victoria's Moon. I've, I've seen one other person before, I, before they contacted me, I'd seen one other person do it have anything to do with diamond painting. And it was one of the, the uh, people that I follow on YouTube that does uh, Pokemon videos. And one of, one of them did a diamond painting and I thought it looked really cool. So when they emailed me, I went and checked it out and I thought, yeah, why not? I'll do it. It looks kind of fun. So this came in the mail. It was wrapped in black plastic, which is okay, I guess. Mm. Protects it, yeah. So inside, and I opened it to make sure everything was in here, but I haven't actually done anything with it. So you get, in here I got a sheet with all the colors. So you get these little resin diamond things. Um, and then this is just a chart that that uh, shows each number of the package, the symbol and the color, which could be helpful. It's also the same, the same legend is also on the uh, canvas that you get with your pattern on it. Uh, they also sent, in addition to the toolkit you usually get, they sent this pin here, which I, I wasn't entirely sure what each of these ends did. So I had to go look on their website. And this is probably the one, the biggest negative about this is there, there's no instructions inside and there's no explanation of what each of these items does inside this kit. So this pin, I had to go to their website and I think I've figured out how to use it. It's got one end that looks like a normal diamond painting pen, except it's a lot smaller. So maybe it's to push, push your diamonds around to make sure they're right or something. And then this side just has a big blob of wax. So I'm guessing you can just use it to pick up your diamonds, you know, instead of reusing wax. That's my guess. I haven't seen this actually used. I haven't used it yet. And there's no instructions on the website on how to use it. So that's my best guess. Then you get the toolkit here, which is the, uh, apparently what you get whenever you get any type of diamond painting kit. Um, you get the same sort of toolkit. Um, this is the general generic diamond painting pen which this is kind of nice. It's got a nice cushion finger grip thing on it. You can see that, a little blue, so you can move it up and down. Uh, this side is for doing one single diamond. And then this side is for doing multiple. It looks like this will probably do six or seven, maybe. That side, and I think you can change it out, so. If you had one, that would do three. But again, I, I found all this out by watching other videos on YouTube, and uh, other, otherwise I wouldn't have known what this was for. Now, I will stop to say that on Victoria, Victoria's Moon's website, when you go to any of the diamond painting kits and look under the description, there are instructions under the description of the kits that tell you how to diamond paint. And those instructions are pretty good, but it would help to have something in the package as well, I think. So you get your pen, you get a pair of tweezers, which some people I think might use the tweezers. And I will say this is a very nice pair of tweezers. Some people might use the tweezers to place their diamonds, but uh, usually I think these are used if you accidentally place a diamond in the wrong spot then you can use the tweezers to pull it back up uh, to fix your errors. Uh, and then there is 
a block of wax, which you will need for your diamond pin. Um, you'll put that inside the pin to use it to pick up the diamonds. And then you have a tray that you use to pour your diamonds into, uh, keeping them organized while you're doing your diamond painting. And then the last thing is this little piece of, I don't know what. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's not wax. It feels like it may be some type of tape, some type of, I don't know. No instructions. Don't know what it's for. So we'll leave it at that. Then we come to the actual meat of the package. Let's just pull it all on out. We have, and I got quite a large one. This will be my first diamond painting. Uh, and I decided not to go easy. So not only did I get a very large, uh, a very, very large canvas here. This is the largest size they would, they would let me have. Um, you see it kind of fills up the whole table in front of me. So I got a large canvas, um, but I got the square drills, which the diamonds are called drills. And square are apparently a little bit more difficult. They don't look more difficult to me. Uh, you just have to make sure that they, that you don't put them in like a diamond shape when you put them down. They have to be matching the grid where if it's a round drill, you just plop it in there and it, it just goes in. Um, but they don't really look that more that much more difficult to me. And you can see there's quite a few little bags. One thing I really like about this Victoria's Moon kit compared to other kits I've seen people do on YouTube is each one of these bags that your, your little resin diamonds come in uh, is a little Ziploc bag. So you don't have to pull them all out and store them in some other container. You already have them stored in nice little Ziploc bags. So you just pour out your diamonds. So let's just say you're gonna start with this color right here, number three, 169. You would just take your diamonds, open up the little Ziploc bag, pour some of them into your tray like that, shake them out, get them all good and I don't know if y'all can see that from way over there but you finish with your diamonds just pull them right back in that bag and those do not want to come off and there you go and then just take that one that I dropped seal your bag back up that to me is it's a very simple simple little thing but it's very useful and I really like that that would be one one thing that would make me consider possibly reordering diamond kits from Victoria's Moon because they put them in little Ziploc baggies and it's not a little thing you gotta cut and then store it in something else. You don't have to have any extra equipment to do this. It all comes in here and it all comes nicely stored. So anyway, get those out of the way. This is the canvas and it's covered by this uh, wax paper type stuff um, because underneath it's really sticky and I'll try to pull up a little bit I don't want to mess it up um, but just a little bit so y'all can see underneath here there's a very sticky layer and that is where you'll stick all your your little resin diamonds down I'm gonna cover that back up uh, and from the videos I've seen online it's, it's a very simple thing to do um, it looks very fun. I'm very much looking forward to starting on this. This has basically just been an unboxing video of this. I'm gonna start working on this soon. I may do another video or two if y'all are interested in watching me actually do some of this diamond painting. And then maybe at the end, a review of the kit. But I, th I think overall, I can do a decent little review of it now. I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with this. Uh, I know it's my first one I've ever done, and I haven't actually done it yet. This is the first diamond kit, diamond painting kit I've ever gotten. Uh, I really like that all these come organized, little Ziploc bags, that's a plus. Um, I do wish, I've seen some where, the, where this paper on top comes off in little strips, 
and I think that would be that would be very nice. But you can easily just get a little uh, hobby knife and just score along it and tear it off. You can make your own strip. So that's not a huge thing, but it would be nice if it was already scored that way. Um, the little tool kit has everything you need. I haven't had a chance to try this yet, so I don't know how good it is, um, but I'll try it and let you guys know what I think about it. Uh, the, the one downside to this kit, and I don't think it's, I don't think it's something that's specific to Victoria's Moon, uh, from what I've seen, it's probably this way with every kit, is that if you want to learn how to diamond paint, you're not gonna learn it from the kit. You're gonna need to go watch other people on YouTube or find some instructions somewhere else. You're not gonna get instructions in the kit. Now, if, if Victoria's Moon or, or whoever was selling diamond paintings, if they would include even just a description of what some of these things do, uh, then that could be an extra plus side. But overall, I like it so far. Um, I, I like the way this came organized. It was nice in this sturdy little cardboard box, rolled up good and tight, uh, all the beads in their own bags. And I can't really find, other than the instructions, I can't really find anything negative about this. So that being said, if you guys want to try some diamond painting, uh, Victoria's Moon has been nice enough to give me a promo code, which I'll put right here, that you guys can use to go get a discount on your first or second or third, or who knows how many you've done, but to get a discount on a diamond painting kit. So be sure and use that. Go check them out. Uh, I'm going to start working on this very soon and give you guys some updates on the progress. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll talk to you guys next time.